Hello everyone, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel and this time we are in Train Simulator Classic because we had the latest dev update yesterday from Just Trains about the West Coast Main Line over Shap and in particular that dev update was focused on the Morecambe branch between Lancaster and Morecambe so I thought why don't we jump into TS Classic We'll go and have a look at the Morgan branch so you can see what it looks like. This is a scenario set in 2015. This service actually is going from Lancaster, where we are now, uh, over to Morecambe, and then it comes out of Morecambe and carries on to Leeds. Well, actually, in this scenario, it will go as far as Cornforth before it uh, goes off and does its own thing to Leeds. So we're not going to go to Leeds, we're just going to go as far as Morecambe so I can show you the Morecambe branch. Uh, we're in the class 150 slash 2 from Armstrong Powerhouse. So I have changed the destination blind to show that uh, we are just going as far as Morecambe. So I thought I'd be interested, just in case you don't have uh, TS Classic, uh, you can have a look what it looks like. Um, it looks a little bit different to the screenshots that we saw because the screenshots are obviously from the, uh, from the 80s. This is 2015, so... We're going to jump in and we'll get everything set up, ready to go, shall we? So, master key on, into forwards. So, set noise that. We can get the doors open whilst we're doing the rest of it. Instrument lights, then over here, we want the headlights on. We don't need the tail lights, they can go off. Let's have the destination indicator on, why not? Marker lights, we will have on. That's the GSMR powering up, so we will put that in, I think. So if I just look at the briefing, uh, we are at Lancaster and it's 2Y61. So let's put that in. 2Y61 two, two and signal 245. So let's register that. So this scenario, by the way, if you do have TS Classic, this is available in uh, from Alan Thompson Sim. And um, I've not run the full scenario yet. I've only picked it up this afternoon because of the Morecambe aspect. But it sounds quite interesting. So it goes into Morecambe and you have a four minute wait at Morecambe and then you come back out again, but head further north towards Corinth. So we're doing we're coming out from the southern end at the moment. Uh, let's put the hood back on again. We'll have a quick look outside, shall we, at the 150. We can actually go inside as well. Is there an internal view in this? I don't know if there is. Don't think there is. That's a shame. Usually I can press uh, button 5, camera 5, and it takes us, uh, takes us inside to the passenger view. Must not have it for this one. That's a shame. Right. The doors are closing. We've got a green light. We're off to the first of the stations on the Morecambe branch. In fact, there's only Berlin and Morecambe. Berlin is our first station stop. So let's buzz the guy back to the DRA. Off. Brakes. Off. Off we go. 15 miles per hour out of Lancaster. Lancaster, of course, one of the main stations on the West Coast Main Line. And... Uh, once we get the route from Just Trains, Preston will be the originating station on the West Coast Main Line. That's the furthest south that we will get. Well, we think we will get. We don't actually know, do we? You may be able to start just beyond Preston. I'm not sure. But uh, certainly Preston, I expect, will be the first major station that we come to. And then Lancaster's the second. About 20 minutes up. The uh, route from Preston. Go back inside. Let's make sure we follow the speed limits. So we do run down the West Coast Main Line for a couple of miles and then we, we turn on to the Morecambe Branch and uh, we go to Berlin. And Berlin really is where you'll see the first of the differences between what we saw in the developer update yesterday and uh, what it looks like in this route which is a bit more modern. But we'll come to that once we get there. Hope everybody is excited still about this uh, West Coast Mainline Overshap coming to TSW. I'm sure you all are. 
the uh, the video I did yesterday was well received. Lots of people have watched that. Everybody's given me some uh, really nice feedback on that and what their anticipation is of the route. So that's really good. I think pretty much everybody's looking forward to it, with a couple of exceptions. But I'm sure once they see it in all its glory, they'll uh, they'll quite enjoy it. Right, we can come up to speed, but only briefly. Because we do need to slow down again for the junction. So let's do that as we pass over the River Loon. So more is out, more conveyors out out this way. You got the city of Lancaster here. This is the River Loon, and uh, we're rocking the uh, the old purple and blue Northern livery. Brings back a few memories. Let's pop back inside, shall we? It's not far at all, you know. It's a couple of miles to Berlin, and then it's about another mile and a half, I think, from Berlin to Morecambe. So it's a it's a short but important little branch line. The last time I went down here in real life, I was in a pacer, actually. So, it's been quite some time since I went down there. Would have been maybe five or six years. I am due there to go again, actually, for a visit. I have been talking about going there with the family. Because Morecambe's alright, I don't mind Morecambe. Right, shall we take the power off, ready for this 25 as we hit the junction? So, when we turn onto this junction... I'll try and show you from outside, and uh, this was the teaser that Just Trains first released. Which, before they announced anything, was their way of saying, we're making a new route and does anybody know where this is? But, as they said in the dev blog yesterday, lots and lots of people actually did know where it was. So it kind of gave the game away. I don't know whether they expected that many people to know about it. To be fair. But if you travel up and down here, just on the West Coast Main Line, as many, many people do, it's a quite a recognisable little junction, as you'll see. Right, let's take the brakes off. You can see we've been directed to the left. Zoom out a little bit, shall we? So here it is. I'll just pause it and I will show you what Just Trains did show us on that original, that original uh, screenshot. So if I uh, if I take off the hood and go to that view, and then if we have a quick look outside. So it was kind of this, it was this area that they were showing us um, as we branched off from the Lancaster end to uh, to go off to Morecambe. And um, you can see that there we go off to Morecambe. If you're carrying on up the West Coast Main Line, you can do so up the main line like this. But then if you're coming from Morecambe, as you can see, you come out this way to carry on north. And so this service that we're running today, if we're running the whole service, once we've been to Morecambe at that end, uh, we would come back round this way and we would go off to Cornford further up the uh, further up the West Coast Main Line. Uh, but for today, uh, we're not doing that, so we will uh, we'll jump back in and uh, we'll go to Berlin. Probably should put the hood back on. Then I know what speed I'm meant to be doing. So, of course, as well, we'll be running this in the TSW version. We'll be running this in the Class 101 DMU and also in the Pacer. So, it'll be a little bit different. The 150s came later, of course. And um, it won't be as modern inside as this. Well, many of you already know because you've been... Uh, You've been driving the 101 and the Pacer in uh, TSW for quite some time, so you know what to expect there with those. 
But the platform is just ahead. It's just coming into view now. And uh, we'll have a look at Berlin when we get there. And uh, we'll see what Berlin looks like in comparison to the screenshots we saw yesterday. So, you'll remember the screenshot of the level crossing. And as well as the level crossing, there was the signal box on the left-hand side. The signal box is gone here. The station building is still there on the right-hand side. I don't know if that is actually a station building or whether that's privately owned. I suspect it's privately owned. But we'll take a quick look at Berlin Station. Once we come to a stop. Apart from that, it looks pretty much the same. We'll get the doors open. And uh, we'll go outside. I'll take the hood off again. And we'll have a quick look. So, I think the screenshot yesterday that we saw was kind of like from over here. And over here was the signal box. And the signal box is gone. There was, uh, there was one of a pacer, wasn't there, coming, coming down this side. And... Um, the signal box there was another screenshot from within the signal box about here i think and if you remember from the video yesterday i was saying oh look at this you know are there some controls here in the signal box which will, which will let us raise the uh the barriers you know that's what i'm looking forward to so it's changed a little bit it has changed a little bit but it's recognizable from what it was um obviously the graphics in csw are a lot better than the cs classic as well you know that has to be said but um, yeah, all in all, not much different. But it's a shame the signal box is gone. It'll now be power control, warns it. The the uh, the gates here are probably all automated now. So doors are closed. We can carry on to Morecambe, which is only one point four two miles. So let's have a look outside. What did I do? What did I not do? Let's take the power off, shall we? There we go. I don't know what happened then. I put it into notch 7, but it didn't do anything. Straight across the level crossing, then onto Morecambe. So one of the other screenshots we saw yesterday was showing kind of this this area along the side of the road as it follows the it follows the line pretty much all the way to uh, to Lancaster uh, not to Lancaster sorry to Morecambe in this direction and uh, I still think. You're going to spend a lot of your time on the on the West Coast mainline part of this, but I think you're going to enjoy this little branch. As I said yesterday, it is a shame that it is a shame the Hesham branch isn't in for the freight. But then again, you know, it's a very it's a very short section of track uh, from Morecambe to Hesham, so it doesn't add that much. But it would it would have sort of filled in the the route. If you know what I mean, because players that have been on TS Classic for some time will be used to running up to Asian. There's quite a few scenarios you can get as well in TS Classic for uh, for freight to Asian. I'm going to put some brake in because we're coming in quite fast. And like I said, it doesn't take long at all to get to Morgan. Some of the buildings have changed. You'll see, especially when we get to Morgan, a lot of the buildings have changed from what. We will see in the TSW version. And uh, I'll pause it just again in a second. So that I can show you one of the other screenshots that we had uh, yesterday. Just outside Morecambe. So if I come out of here. And uh, this one yesterday was one of the screenshots. So this is where we're coming out of uh, out of uh, Morecambe, and this line here is the one to Hesham. So as you can see, it sort of zips around. So back in the cab, 
for this approach. And uh, we're doing all right. I should actually be slower than this, of course. It is a very slow run into uh, into Morecambe. 15. You can see already that nice station building that was shown on the screenshots, which I used as a thumbnail yesterday for the video. As it said in the article, that's gone. That's all gone. And uh, it's been replaced by something... Not even a quarter as good. <laughs> we'll have a quick look. Now, in TS Classic, you get a representation of some of the buildings. You don't get like for like buildings like sometimes you do in TSW. Just open the doors. Um, but this is Morecambe. Essentially, it's the same. So, the platforms that you saw yesterday, if I go into uh, 8, view 8, and we go down here. So, the platforms. I think, in yesterday's, carried on along here. And we were looking across here yesterday at Frontierland, where the amusement park was. And therefore, I wonder if this building is representative of where the, uh, the old station was. But as you can see, it's all retail parks and things now. That looks suspiciously like an oldie, or it's meant to be. Um... But you can see Morecambe Station is probably not really a patch on what it was back then. Um, it's very, you know, the platforms. I was saying yesterday, the platforms are really, really long. Well, it was a good job they were because they've cut half of this side. They've cut half of that away. And uh, the station building is now this miserable little hut. <laughs> Conservatory, call it what you like, but the classic looking... Uh, uh, building has gone. So that's a shame, isn't it? That's a shame. But we've arrived at Morecambe, and uh, that's what I wanted to show you, really. Just a, a little brief look at the Morecambe branch. It's slightly representative of what we'll get in TSW, but obviously this is 2015 again, and we're looking at the 80s, aren't we, for the TSW route. I'm sure, you know, the, the TSW route actually will be a lot more interesting than this, because... Some of the classic BR Blue routes, for me, have a bit more character than some of the modern-day ways of looking at things where they cut out things like this station building at Morecambe. There's just no character to some stations anymore. And you can see from the screenshots yesterday that Morecambe actually probably was, at one time with holidaymakers, quite a big hive of activity. So... I'm quite looking forward to that era. It doesn't mind. It doesn't. It doesn't bother me at all about that era. Um, I don't mind it. it it's going to be fine. So, thanks everybody for joining me. Just a short one today. Hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you've enjoyed this little look, an alternative look at what we're going to be getting in TSW. Take care, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye for now.